guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to do another round of declutter in like my declutter series and I'm so excited because this is my lip product so super excited for that. It's all my lipsticks, all my glosses, my lip letters, my liquid lipsticks, all of those things is going to be declutter in this video. If this is something that you want to see then go ahead and keep watching. You can see all of my lipsticks. I've just laid them out so you can see all of the colors. So I have them sorted out like I have my reds there, I have a lot of nudes and some darker nudes some dark colors, some pinks, and just other like bright colors. And I think I have 100 lipsticks, so that's kind of crazy. So I, I have a goal, I want to get rid of, I don't know, probably 15, 20 or something. That would be really nice because this is a little bit too many. And some of these are kind of old as well. Like some of these I've had for a couple of years, so I probably should get rid of some of them. You can see my reds and my orange colors. And I don't really use these types of colors that often, so I don't need that many, but I'm really unsure which one I want to get rid of. I know I definitely want my Russian Red lipstick from MAC because that's my favorite red lipstick, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I'm also keeping my newest MAC uh, Red lipstick, which is from a collection. I just think it's really pretty. I love Lady Danger by MAC. It's really beautiful. Hmm, I would definitely want one orange color. I have two. I have one from Inglot and one from Maybelline and they're really really similar so I don't know which one I want or not if I want that, both of them because they're both like completely full and I have probably never used them but they're just really similar so I think I'm just going to keep both of them. I'm probably never going to wear this one. This is a sheer red color from Nil Sur, but I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to get rid of lipsticks, I think. I think that's probably my, the hardest part. I think I'm going to keep all of these colors, actually. I don't know why, but I just I can't get rid of any of them. Here you can see all of my nude colors. I definitely have a lot of them. I have a few just laying down here. And this one I know I'm going to get rid of because this one is just, like, ruined. I don't know what happened to it. I have no idea, but that's definitely going to go. This one I had in my collection for so long, it's from MAC and it's the Patissier color. I tried so many times to use this up and I just can't. Like I get down to here but I just can't use it more and I'm just done with that color. There was nothing wrong with it but I'm just, I don't want it. I think I want to keep the rest of these and I want to go here and see. I feel like I've had this one for a really long time and never really used it. It's from Rimmel and it's called vintage pink. It's kind of a pretty color. It reminds me a lot of MAC syrup, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of old, so I just I think I'm just going to get rid of it. This one I've had for a really long time. I think I've had it for more than three years, and I, th I don't think you should have lipsticks for more than three years, so I'm just getting, getting rid of that one. It's from Victoria's Secret, actually. I don't think they even make these anymore, so I'm just getting rid of that one, even though it's a beautiful color. I think it's this one that I never use. It's Cosmo from MAC. I never use it it's an okay color, but it's just not my cup of tea, I guess. This one I'm so disappointed in because I just got it. I bought this from like a private person and I thought it would be like a really f beautiful color, but right now when I opened it, I see that it actually is old. There's a lot of bacteria on it and it's just disgusting. I think that's really rude to sell things that are old, so I have to actually get rid of this one even though I really like the color, but I just I can't have it because it's full of bacteria. This one... I never use. It's from Revlon. It's called Violet Frenzy. No, never use it, so I'm getting rid of that one. It's called Quite the Thing. It's just a glossy, dark pink with shimmer in it. It's not my type of color at all, so I'm just getting rid of that one as well. Here we have all of my pinks, and I definitely love pink, as you can see, or I used to really love pink. I only bought like cool toned pink colors. I can probably get rid of some hair. Um, I know I can get rid of this one. This is from Chanel and it's called Chance. Oh, is it called Chance? That would be kind of weird. I don't know if it's called Chance, but it's a light pink sheen. No, it's not sheen supreme. It's a Coco Shine lipstick. And I know I had this one for a really long time, so I'm just, I think it's time to go. I only have these because I think they're really pretty and I, they're pretty on like pictures and, and as like in decor things. So <laughs> I don't like them, but well, I kind of like them, but not too much. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is from Maybelline and it's called Pink Pop. It's a beautiful pink, but I don't know, there's something about the finish that it's not that pigmented. I feel like I need a lot of layers of it, so I just want to get rid of that one. This one I also know is really, really old. 
It's from Max Factor and it's the color Stardust Pink. This is really old, so I have to get rid of that one. This one I never use. It's from Revlon. It's called Gumdrop. It's a light lilac color, but I, again, never ever use it. This one as well, I never use it. It's from Viva La Diva and it's called 111 Dreams. It's a beautiful pink, but I never really use pink colors like this and it, it doesn't look uh, that flattering on me either, so... Here we have some really bright colors for like, really fun for like summer and stuff. I know there is one that I want to get rid of which is called Hot Plum from Maybelline. I just, I hate colors like this. I feel like I look so pale when I use them so I don't really like colors like this. I'm just getting rid of that one. Also getting rid of this one from H&M. It's a lip pen. I don't know, I'm just, oh, I just, I don't want it anymore. Here, I think we can get rid of the other Victoria's Secret lipstick. I've had this one for just as long and I don't need it anymore. This one, I don't think I will ever use. It's from Nina Lissou in the color 704 and it's nice, but I never use it. I think that is actually it. I have to count how many I got rid of. I actually forgot to show you guys these, but these are more like lip pens, like lip pencils. And I'm actually thinking of getting rid of all of them. Um, this one I never use. This one I also never use because you have to sharpen it, which I don't I don't think that's convenient. And this one, I just know with myself I'm probably never going to use it. So I'm getting rid of that one. So it's actually all of those three. Okay, I actually did a really good job. I actually got rid of 20 lipsticks. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think that's really nice. So... I don't think I will miss any of these lipsticks. Goodbye, lipsticks. <laughs> so I think we can just go and move on to lip liners. Here you can see all of my lip liners. I'm missing two from Kylie Cosmetics, but those are in my purse and I was just like, I know I'm going to keep them so I don't need to get like, go through them and see. But I know there is definitely one here that I do not like and it's from MAC and it's from the Pro Longwear line. This one just did not work for me is in the color more to love and again as I said I don't like colors like that so I'm just going to get rid of this one and yeah that's basically the reason I'm also thinking of getting rid of the H&M one some of these products were kind of good quality but now I, I can tell that they are not that good quality uh, as you can see this happened and I don't know what <laughs> why it happened so I'm just going to get rid of this lip liner from H&M so I got rid of two lip liners not that much but I do really like the ones that I have here you can see my lip glosses my liquid lipsticks and my lip balms and I think I want to go right here because these are the ones that don't really look like anything else I have mentioned to you guys that I don't like Jory Cosmetics lip glosses they leak and they are kind of sticky and I don't like them so I'm getting rid of the Rose Hill color I just I don't like that color anyway so I'm just getting rid of that one I will keep the Lancome I think it's called Juicy Shaker it's brand new so I just I want to try it more and see how I like it these are more of my clear or like shimmery lip glosses that I like to use to make my lips look a little bit fuller or just a lot add a lot of shine I really like the MAC one, the Ariana Grande one, and this one from Nina Seals. I will keep these and actually get rid of these. This one just hurts a lot and I don't really see that big difference with it. And this one just smells so bad and, and I'm not really picky with scents, but this one just smells horrible. And this one, I just, I don't need it because I have that one and that one brightens up a little bit more. So I'm just getting rid of all of those three. I'm going to keep all of my liquid lipsticks. I'm I'm missing my Coco K, but that's in my purse, as I said. Um, but I'm going to keep all of them because I like to play with them a lot. So I will keep all of those. Here you can see all of my nude lip glosses. I definitely know that this one is a little bit old. So I will get rid of this one. I love Clarins lip glosses. So I'm definitely keeping this one, which is new. Uh, so one, uh, I'm definitely keeping that one. But the other one is just a little bit too old. So I'm getting rid of that one. also think that this one is a little bit too old. It's from Revlon. It's the Peach, Peach Petal lip gloss. And it's just a little bit old. I also think that these are kind of old. The thing is, I don't remember when I got them. And I'm pretty sure it's a really long time ago. So I think I'm just going to get rid of all of my NYX Mega Shine lip glosses. These are, these are definitely my favorite Jura Cosmetics lip glosses. It's Buttercream and Nude. They're amazing and beautiful colors. But as you can see, they leak. I think both of these leak. And that's kind of disgusting. So I'm kind of unsure because I kind of like the colors. But 
I'm just getting rid of them because they do leak and it's kind of annoying. These are the ones that I'm keeping. I'm actually really good at this because I'm actually getting rid of both of these as well. Because this one is kind of old and I also think that this one is kind of old. I'm really weird about lip glosses. I don't like to have them for a really long time. So when I've had them for like over a year or over two years, it just grosses me out. So I'm getting rid of those two. Here, I'm definitely getting rid of the Jura Cosmetics one. The next one, but I'm keeping these two. This section, I'm only getting rid of the Jara Cosmetics one. I feel like I just got rid of my entire lip gloss collection. No, I'm actually not getting rid of these. Why? These are in there. <laughs> I'm actually getting rid of all of these and keeping these. So not that many, actually. And of course, my liquid lipsticks. So that's what I'm keeping. These are the ones that I'm getting rid of, actually. I think this one is probably time to get rid of the sleek polish it's okay but i just never use it and i feel like the scent is kind of weird so i don't really reach for it so i'm getting rid of that one this one does not have a cap and i think that makes me not want to use it so i'm just i think i'm going to get rid of that one as well but i'm keeping the other ones i love the other ones so these are all of the lip products that i got rid of and it feels really good because i don't really like these products that much so it feels good to clean them out of my collection and get rid of them and I'm actually pretty impressed because I didn't think I would get rid of that many lip products. When I when I sorted out all my lipsticks, I was like, okay, I can't think of any that I want to get rid of. So you really have to think and think that, do I actually like this color? Do I actually use it? Also, if it's old, you should just get rid of it because you don't want to put a lot of bacteria on your lips. It's actually really disgusting. So that was it for all of the products that I decluttered in this round of declutter series here on my channel. If you guys like this video and probably found it inspiring to clean out your makeup collection or other parts of your uh, home or something like that, if you just got inspired to declutter, just let me know. I personally always get so inspired whenever I watch declutter and clean out videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!